Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Sammy Ryan. forever to make another video I've been so busy the new year has been amazing so far and I just wanted to do a video to do a video in the new year <laughs> today's video is gonna be about my favorite pieces in my closet including my vintage designer collection that I'm starting to build out I've always kind of been obsessed with fashion vintage fashion vintage design I feel like it all just kind of recirculates itself with our fashion now so for me it was pretty important to collect these pieces in my closet before we actually get into all these designer stuff and everything that i have i just wanted to let you guys know that all this stuff that i have i purchased myself i do not come from a family that is wealthy or has a lot of money we definitely went through a lot of hardships growing up i definitely came from very humble beginnings for the most part these are all very sentimental items to me and i'm really grateful that i was able to grow my business and to afford some of these items that i wouldn't have been able to afford before they didn't come overnight and like here I am now. So, yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite pieces that I have and I'm gonna start with accessories. So I'm gonna start by showing you guys my favorite hats, bags, and shoes, and then we'll get into the clothing. First thing I'm gonna talk about is hats. I love hats, I've always loved them. I think they're such a fun accessory. And I'm gonna show you guys my favorite hats that I have in my collection. So the first one, obviously this one, I just bought this from my girlfriend. I'll put her name below. She's amazing. I work with her all the time styling by Sammy Ryan shoots and she picked up this really cute vintage hat that I love. It's like a cheetah print bowler hat and um, it's by the brand Betmar New York. I haven't heard of them but I think it's a really cute vintage piece that you can incorporate in a lot of looks. So this is the first one. hat is actually a piece that I made when I was younger for my line by Sammy Ryan. I was pretty much inspired by punks and street punks so I did these spikes all over the brim of the hat. I actually got these manufactured but they didn't come back how I wanted them to be so I never produced them. But this is just one of one. Anyway, you see the spikes on the side, they go all the way around the hat. It's actually a pretty heavy hat but I like it. <laughs> By far has to be my most favorite piece that I've gotten recently. It is this vintage Chanel bucket hat. It is so cute. I found it on one website. I was looking everywhere for it, so I decided to buy it. You can wear it pretty much anyway. Sometimes I wear it this way, so you can see like the Chanel logo, or sometimes I will wear it this way. So both the logos are on the sides. Definitely wear this piece a lot. So if you see me in pictures of it, it's because I love it and it's one of my favorite special pieces that I've gotten so far. So the next hat I got at a vintage store and I think I actually got this in Boston at this really amazing vintage store that I'm gonna be telling you guys about called Madam Haddam where I get a lot of my vintage designer pieces. It's a consignment shop in the cutest, smallest town ever in Massachusetts and I love it so much. So it's definitely allowed me to build my collection, including this adorable hat. It doesn't say where it's from. It is so, so cute. It pretty much goes with everything. I haven't found any similar versions to these online, but if you do, great hat. Next hat I got is from Giorgio Armani, and it's a really cute vintage hat. So I decided to grab this hat. I think it was, I thought it was just like a really cute piece that I can have for a while. Style it with a bunch of different looks. So now I'm gonna talk about Hermes. Yes, Hermes. I got all of these pieces at Madame Haddam, including the boxes. I know some consignment stores have designer pieces, but they don't have the box that it comes with, so I was really happy that I was able to get these. These were Christmas presents from my boyfriend, these two scarves. It is so beautiful. The print on it is insane. I love it so much. 
We are going to hang these up as art pieces, so we're just gonna get them framed and then have really dope Hermes art. Next scarf that I have is a brand new one that I just got. It's so cute. It has a bunch of hot air balloons on it. It's just a really beautiful piece. I love it. It's all silk. Take very good care of folding all the items and putting them right back in their respected homes. This was a piece that when we went in the store, I looked at these and I was obsessed with them. And then I went back a couple days later and I was like, I need to have those. They are these gorgeous red leather cashmere Hermes gloves. They fit me literally perfectly, so I had to have them. They're so, so cute. Yeah, they just fit my hands perfectly. Are just really amazing gloves that I probably will have for the rest of my life. So this by far has to be one of my favorite bags that I have. It is a vintage Louis Vuitton backpack and I bought this from my friend's mom and she was selling it and this was like one of my first designer bags that I got for myself. And on the inside, I think I still have it to this day, there was a fortune cookie, um, oh wait, here it is. There was like a fortune cookie in here. Inside of it says, this current year will bring you much happiness. So once I got this bag, I like have always kept this in there because it came from the owner and she's like, I haven't opened that bag literally since the 90s and that fortune is still in there, it was meant for you. So this is a good story behind this bag and it's really, really cute. So this is a kind of sporty and cute bag. It's a Ralph Lauren Polo Sport bag. It's like a cute side bag. I actually also got this from my friend Hot Cheeto Queen Jess. She does some vintage shopping and um, I bought this off of her because I thought it was really cute to incorporate in some looks. Um, I am obsessed with this Gucci bamboo bag. It is so cute. It's definitely from the 90s. It's adorable. I wear this when I go out sometimes. It's just like a really cute bag just to throw with any outfit. So I was really happy about this purchase. And this was also from Madam Haddam. The next bag is this really cute vintage Chanel um, quilted bag that my mom gave me from my grandma took off the chain because it was a longer strap and made it into a short bag like this. Um, really cute, really old. Happy that I picked it up a couple years ago. It is this really cute vintage Dior pink logo bag and it has the number one with some Savorsi crystals on it, some flowers and the Dior logo and the print all around the bag. I'm actually so sad because I had the locket that went to it which came with it and I lost it. So um, if anyone finds a Dior locket from this bag, it's probably mine. The very, very first designer piece I ever bought was in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania at a consignment store for vintage designers. And I went in and I saw these shoes and I had to have them. I think I was maybe like 19 or 20 at the time when I bought these shoes. Vintage Versace heels. I was like dying for them. These shoes are from like the 1990 collection. They have amazing charms on the front. They're like Swarovski covered charms. It has the Versace logo on it and they're just really cute slides. I've worn them a bunch. Whenever I walk they jingle a lot which is kind of annoying but they are so so cute, and I will always hold these very dear to my heart. Next up are these badass Chanel shoes that I got from the same consignment store that I've been telling you guys about. Really cute Chanel small heels. They have the Chanel logo on the top, the C's, and the heel's really small, so you could literally wear these with anything and not feel like you're gonna fall or trip. I have to take them to a shoe cobbler because some of the siding is coming up and I want them to last a longer. These are a present from my boyfriend. They are these really gorgeous Dior heels and I love the olive and the ribbing right here, which is leather. And the best part about these shoes is the back detail with the bow going down the back. It's almost like a little corset. I love wearing these with a simple outfit. Thank you, my boyfriend, for these. <laughs> While I was back in Massachusetts, I actually picked up these 
Louis Vuitton shoes. I love them because they have the Louis Vuitton logo pattern on the bottom and then it has this black buckle which I really like. I love the pointed toe on these shoes. They have a really small heel so they're really easy to walk in. So, and these shoes are like, these are also vintage that I got at Madame Haddam. Ah, they're gorgeous. Did Chanel boots that I'm obsessed with. I wear them every time I have a chance to wear them. The pointed toe, absolutely love. It gives you the right amount of heel, as you can see. And on here, it has the Chanel logo. So here they are. So these shoes are a new guy to the collection. I had to pick up some Prada for my closet. These were definitely a splurge, way more expensive than all the other pieces that I actually showed you. And all the other items that I showed you are like way below these, the price range of these. I take care of these very well, um, have them in their own bag, but I'm gonna show you them. So here they are. Take out the stuffing for you so you can see them a little better. I love how thin this strap is and they're actually really, really easy to walk in. These were around $1,200, which was so expensive. And as soon as I bought them, I was like, wow, that was like a lot of money. Um, I literally chipped my tooth and had to go to the dentist, which was the equivalent to these shoes. And I was so considering selling them, but I didn't. They're too good to sell and I love them so much. Like originally I bought them and I'm like, I'm gonna buy these and flip them just to kind of justify my spending. I'm not gonna sell these, yeah right, they're so gorgeous, but I will keep them very safe in my closet. For the most part, most of the items that I'm showing you guys that I got at consignment stores range from like 100 to 300, maybe four to $500, if they're like really limited, like the Chanel boots or something. But this Burberry trench coat that I found at a thrift store for $44. It's so cute, it goes all the way down to the ground. Um, it is a really awesome piece and it's a size small. So this is great for fall, great for layering. I'm really happy about this purchase. So I got this off-white bodysuit. This isn't vintage, but this is, I think from their last year collection. And this retailed at around five or $600, which is pretty insane because it's basically like just a lace bodysuit with the off-white stripe straps on it. I've worn it out in Vegas, got in trouble for it. <laughs> I don't know how to justify that spending. Next piece was a piece that I got over the holidays. So we have the Chanel logo and that it has like cherries or something really cute on it. Next up is this gorgeous vintage Valentino blazer. It's like a cropped blazer. I love the scalloping right here. Probably my favorite part about this one. This was a really good piece that I was really happy to have and really still happy to have in my closet. I bought this piece at Madame Haddam because I was like, this reminds me of the first vintage piece I got, my Versace shoes. Really cute slides, I've worn them a bunch and I feel like it was from the same collection but I got this gorgeous Versace, oh my god, silk blazer. It is so stunning. It has their Versace Medusa head buttons all the way down it. I feel like I got this for under a hundred dollars. So you can for sure get vintage designer bargains. You just have to look for them. Find the gem. So this one was for sure a gem for me. The last piece of designer clothing that I have is this vintage Gucci jumpsuit that it goes all the way down to the ground. It's actually a little bit big for me, so I have to get it taken in. That's one thing I don't mind about getting vintage designer stuff is if it's too big, you can just take it to a tailor and have them fit it to your body. I love it because of the fabrics, really lightweight and it's Gucci, so why not? So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of my favorite vintage pieces in my closet. I've acquired these pieces over the past couple of years. Some of them are gifts from my boyfriend, some of them are gifts to myself, for myself, and I was really grateful and happy to get all of these items in my closet. Buying vintage, you can really find really amazing deals. 
and you kind of just have to scour the internet or go to consignment stores that have these really cool vintage designer pieces in the 90s the 80s they've had some really really great fashion even in early 2000s um, so it's really easy to find those items if you know what to look for I love this website called trade C that's where I got the vintage Chanel hat there's the real real there's a bunch of websites that have these designer pieces for a lower price so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know which piece was your favorite if you guys do vintage designer shopping let me know because i need to know <laughs> make sure you put a thumbs up and subscribe and i will talk to you guys soon